I think one of the big things that a lot of people don't realize whenever it comes to logos is that your logo has to identify with your brand. And in order to solidify your brand, in order to make sure that you're reaching your audience, you need to define your target market. Now, when I talk about target market, I'm talking about your audience. I'm talking about who it is that you actually want to sell to. And that's something that you need to consider no matter what it is that you are selling, no matter what it is that you are providing, no matter what it is that you are trying to produce for the public, give to the public, you need to define who it is exactly that you are trying to access. You can define that on the basis of annual income, on the basis of race, on the basis of gender. And really sit and think about who it is that you want to sell to. When I first started out, I will not lie, this is a mistake that I made. I didn't really define that person. I didn't have the ideal customer painted out and that you know, resulted in sloppy work at the beginning, in my opinion. When I look back, it's like, well, dang, Constance, you could have really um, took the time to plan out and really think about who it is that you wanted to cater to. Before I actually even came up with a logo, my brother asked me, or a lot of people would ask me, who are you selling to? Like, who is it that you want to sell to? And I would be like, what kind of question is that? I'm selling to all girls. All girls need hair. So, you know, I'm creating this brand. I'm creating this company designed to reach and access everybody. And honestly, that was foolish on my behalf. You know, there's a saying, if you're marketing to everybody, then you're marketing to nobody. And essentially, I was trying to reach out to everybody without a defined target market. Now, because I didn't have a defined target market, the first thing that I decided to do was, you know, make a logo that I thought people would like. I didn't even think about who would like it. I just assumed it'd be likable because you know what, Constance liked it. That's the number one mistake. Like you really need to sit and define who it is that you're selling to because you're not selling to yourself. Unless your target market is girls like you, then that's okay. But you really need to think about who you're, who you're selling to. If you look at my original logo, it has glitter, it has a crown. I mean, in my opinion, it's very kiddish. So I think it really did attract younger people, which wasn't a problem, but ideally that's not who I wanted to, you know, cater to. And, you know, I began sitting and I began thinking like, okay, I need my logo to really match who it is that I'm attracting. Not only was it not speaking to my audience, but it wasn't even clashing well with my brand. I think brand identity is really important and you really need to make sure you know who and what it is that your company stands for, what your company is all about, everything that your company entails so that you can actually access and reach who it is that you want. I hope this is making sense, y'all. A common thing that I see on logos is like crowns and glitter. There's nothing wrong with that, but you have to really make sure that who you're reaching out to, who you're trying to sell to, cares about crowns and glitter because if they don't, they're gonna skip right over it. And I think a lot of the times we just, you know, create a logo that identifies well with us. But we have to remember, although we are the CEO, although we own this company, your company may not be speaking to you directly. You may want to reach other people, so you need to sit and figure out who it is that you are trying to reach. What do they look like? What do they watch? How much money do they make yearly? You really need to sit and determine all these things so that you can know how to access these people. I feel like it's common that we as CEOs or we as company owners will, you know, attribute so much um, significance to the logo and it's not that the logo isn't significant but that's not the whole brand don't think that the company is automatically gonna boom because the logo design is amazing it may resonate well with some people but at the end of the day they're worried about is your thing enticing enough is your thing a necessity is what you have to offer something that I need in my life and those are the questions you need to start asking yourself like who needs this who wants this who does my product better yet like better service better cater to once you can figure out again your target market then you can easily access and reach or at least you know who you're aiming for and then you can you know strategize and figure out how to um, target them so in my last previously uploaded video i talked about how i use canva to make my logo believe in yourself and you know envision what it is that you want after you figured out your target market and boom go ahead and start making the logo i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create a logo on canva you do not need a mac you can use an apple computer i think you can even you know you can definitely even use your phone um i believe that's how i first created mine on my cell phone so definitely i had an apple iphone i'm sure Android store has an app, but again, you can use your computer, any computer, canva.com, or you can download the app and you can get to work, okay? 